Hey guys, so I'm here with my shopping haul and it's a big one today. It is my big shop of the month. It's the first shop since payday, so we like to stock up on things and try and sort of prepare ourselves for the month to come. And I did buy a few extra bits because we are away for the weekend and my mum is down for the weekend, you know, looking after the dog and um, watching the house for us and things like that. So I did get a couple of extra bits for her. So yeah, quite a big shop. So I haven't got a meal plan for next week and that is because I don't know how long my mum will be staying with me. We are away for the weekend, like I said, so I'm kind of focused just on that. But I have got a lot in the house and I will improvise, I will make it work and you will see what I end up making with the shopping that I bought and the food that I already have when you watch my weekly meals video. So let me spin you around and show you how much I spent and what I got. So we spent £130 and 10p, although I do have to take £20 off of this and that is because I bought these path and border edging and you get four of them and I do have whatever these are called, that fence panel things in my garden and a gate that matches this. So I've got a couple of plant borders that I just want to put them down the side of because I did pick up two of them and I think they'll look really pretty in the garden. Moving on to other non-food items, I got some sun cream and I picked up this Factor 50. And I have heard that Aldi's one is fantastic because not only does it have UVA but it also has UVB protection. Um, so yeah, this one is really, really good and really, really expen inexpensive. I think it was like £1.79, so a really good buy. I picked up some baby wipes, some toilet roll, two lots of washing up liquid, two mouthwash, and that is the alcohol free. Then I got two hand washes. I used this one for my downstairs bathroom. This one smells amazing really really nice and then this one is for the bathroom upstairs that's the bathroom the kids generally use so i get the coca-cola one then i got some washing powder and the stain lift one is my favorite out of all the ones they have this one's really good i got four bags of potatoes like i said my mum's down and she likes you know meat veg and gravy for dinner so we pretty much have a lot of potatoes two bags of carrots and then I got some frozen green beans and some frozen mixed veg. I like the fine one when I make shepherd's pie. So I have got shepherd's pie in mind for next week when we're back. Then I got some bananas. I got a coconut. This was part of their super six. Then their pears was part of their super six as well as their apples. I got some grapes. Two lots of the sweet mini peppers for the boys pack up two packs of mints one of these i was thinking about the shepherd's pie and the other one i'm going to take with us away and i'm thinking on saturday night we'll have spaghetti bolognese for dinner then i got a beef roasting joint depending what time we are back sunday i may i may cook this i may ask my mum to stick it in the slow cooker sunday morning so it'll be ready and then i can do the rest when we get back i asked my mum what she would like to eat over the weekend and she asked for some sausages and a ready meal so i picked her up them i also picked up some chocolate eclairs she has such a sweet tooth and every time i go shopping when she's down i always pick them up as a treat for her two packs of salami and some breaded ham some cheese two lots of milk some orange juice some yogurts some cheese sticks, these for the boys pack up, two lots of spreadable butter or marge, two squash, two jars of passata, two olive oils, I already haven't had these in a while so I was running low, I would like to have one in use and one for spare but I've got about that much in the one I have in the cupboard so I did really need that, three tins of chopped tomatoes and two tins of sweet corn, some posh cheese. Is it Camembert or Camembert? I can never pronounce it. So then we got some pizzas, they're just like pepperamis, some eggs, one of these soft taco kits, a load of coffee, some sugar. I got some pasta, some basmati rice and some long grain rice. Then some gravy granules, some cream crackers and some spaghetti. We did get a lot of Guinness and a lot of cider, but like I said, we are away for the weekend, so we'll be taking these with us. And you see, I do have quite a few eggs still left. 
some porridge oats, that's what Danny likes for breakfast, two loaves of bread and some cola. And I so I just want to add in, when my mum does come down, she never comes down empty handed. So I just want to show you what she, one of the things that she brought with her. Have a look at this. The kids were like, yeah, soapy noodles. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen, fourteen super noodles. She's brought about five boxes of cereal. She's brought crisps and she gave the kids some money so they'll have some money to go away with. She is really, really good to me and my children. So we have plenty in and um, yeah, I'll run through the Special Buyers magazine for next week. So let me spin you back round. So if we have a look at Audi Special Buyers magazine, they have tools and workwear, that's Danny's favorite bit, and the Get Cycling. We had one of these trolleys and it broke. And when we was moving those rocks around the garden to build the pond, we could really have done one. Danny, they've got a trolley for eighteen ninety nine coming up. It's a pound cheaper than being cute. There you go, it's a pound cheaper than being cute. Danny would know that. And they're gardening bits. How pretty is that? That'd look really nice if you had like a Mediterranean themed garden. Little bay trees. They do the ones where they have the spiral stems. I want to get them ones when they come in next. Just wait patiently for them to come back. I remember seeing them last year. And cycling bits. Look at that. How funny. Ooh, stationary. Laminator, 13.99, I might pick one of them up. And they're amazing meat offers. And they're super six fruit and veg. So we just popped back to from Booker's and I just needed a few bits. I did want to get some garlic granules as well as the Italian seasoning, but the garlic granules were 6 dollars and I weren't prepared to pay that. So I got the Italian seasoning, Danny got the burger sauce, and then I got three distilled white vinegars and I like to use this for cleaning. And this came to 14 pounds. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, bye.